small community banks have been replaced by global banks, global banks like JP Morgan Chase. Well, of course they have. Because when you're a big bank, you can give a lot of money to a political candidate and you can get $700 billion in bailouts. Small banks can't. I mean, obviously, uh, the, the massive amount of uh, too big to fail and massive amounts of subsidies that go to giant financial institutions has resulted in massive mergers of those financial institutions so that they are deemed now too big to fail and can be guaranteed or virtually guaranteed bailouts should they run into trouble. So investors want to invest in those banks that are too big to fail. So this is the result of the government forcing taxpayers to bail out banks. It's not a result of the free market, for God's sakes. Like, think for a second before you type. And small farmers have been replaced by the likes of Archer Daniels Midland. Of course, because the vast majority of government subsidies for farms go to the larger corporations. Of course, because the larger corporations can give more money to political candidates. They can buy the uh, levers of political power, much, much more so than small farmers can. So, again, you, all you're talking about is the effects of government policy, which is antithetical to the free market. Right? The initiation of force to violate property rights is the antithesis of the free market.